Hello everybody. Um, the last few videos and stuff that was put on there, uh, volume wasn't working too well, so I was told this would work before I uh, go into any other microphones or anything like that. Figure, why not start off cheaper first, see what the problem is, and then go from there. Well, this morning, you know, I, I was in prayer, woke up this morning, and went back to prayer, and there were some things that was disturbing me. So I was asking the Lord, I said, Lord, you know, these gas prices, food shortages, and things catching on fire, stores supposedly catching on fire, but um, it, nobody seems to know why or how. Well, um, see, the, the devil wants to deceive us. The devil wants to keep us uh, not believing that our government is involved with this. You know, I spoke many things about 9-11, and I've taken a lot of hatred over it. Um, some people that I'm speaking to that just let it fly over their heads, and then they hear it from someone else, they seem to believe it. Well, that's okay. You know, I'm here to do God's work. And um, again, you, you know, like I said um, in the other videos that you couldn't hear, I, I'm eventually going to do my testimony, and um, and and it's... Some of it's hard to go through, but it's truthful, you know. Uh, I come from a guy that, uh, you know, that I hated God, you know. I couldn't, uh, you know, I can't say that God didn't exist if I hate him, you know. Hate's a strong thing. Uh, today, uh, you know, I forgive people. I move on. Uh, you know, I've been, I've been through a lot, you know. Church family members, people that say they go to church, uh, misunderstand things because that's what they choose to do then that's fine you know god god says to continue to be who you are and to continue to move people are going to hurt us i mean it, it, the bible's full of it the only person that's not going to hurt us is jesus christ you know he's he's going to change your life if you allow him to change your life but you have to want to change you just can't say okay i'm a child of god I'm going to go to heaven. I'm going to go do some good works. I'm going to do good things to people. Well, that's not how it works. You know, it's a daily devotion to God. And it's, it's a daily walk with Jesus. Um, you know, stop complaining about these fuel prices. Stop looking at Biden and ripping Biden down. I mean, who are we to tear down another person? Yeah, he's not, he's not doing the job, but we knew he wasn't going to. You know, you can go all the way back to a Biden. Uh, uh, a Biden, oh my gosh, Obama, you know, it's, it's, it's the same concept. I voted for him. You know, I, I don't have a particular party that I vote for. I go with who I think it's, it's going to be the best person. This last election, it wasn't to get us out of the fact of what happened. We, we sit back and we still know the truth. They presented the truth and we still have nothing on it. Biden yeah, yeah, Biden, yeah, I almost said Obama, you know, Biden is truly not our president. Donald Trump should have been in there for the last four years. People want to bash Donald Trump for what? For going in there and putting China and Russia, making them pay because we're paying more money for them to bring our stuff back in here than what they pay for us to ship it over there. Doesn't seem too fair. I mean, if I walked into work every day with you and I said, okay, today, today, you're going to receive $150, but I'm, I I want 85 of that 150. You're going to look at me like I'm crazy. Well, that's what's happening over there. That's what's happening with our trades and stuff that this government doesn't tell us. But we put them in office. You know, the, all they want to keep talking about because it's getting close to elections, they want to keep bringing back the January 6th thing. Well, good night, man. We've had so much wrong. It's time for us to stand up for the right. You know, I don't force myself on anyone. I don't force what I believe on anyone. You know, I'm hoping that someone's going to watch these videos that I'm about to put on here. And I got tablets full of stuff. I'm hoping that someone's going to watch these videos and receive God's glory out of these things. I, I don't take anything that I have done or spoken. And I know that it's all about Jesus. It's, and, and there's nothing else. You know, I, I love Jesus above anything on this earth. Even my own wife. 
and she feels the same way. You may think that's kind of silly, but I tell you what, until you find that love and you find that peace, everybody, your family members, anybody else that you know, friends, even close friends, ones that you consider family, those are, those are, those are the ones that will come against you. Those are the ones the devil's going to use. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's been really uh, uh, rough lately. But, um, you know, I, I believe these are the moments, <clears throat> excuse me. These are the moments when the devil tries to stop everything. I mean, these videos, it, it, the devil don't want the truth out here. But I tell you what, when you walk hand in hand with the devil, you, you, you know what he's about. And, and honestly, you know, that may pique your interest because let me tell you, I've walked hand in hand with him. I, I, I stood in his presence. It's not a good place. But at the time that I, these things happened, um, his people were the only ones that accepted me. You know, his people were the only ones that allowed me to come in to a dry place and didn't judge me because my clothes were dirty and I was living under a bridge. I went to churches and they told me to leave and come back until I'm clean. Well, did you walk in that church clean? I don't think so. You were beaten, battered, and you were of sins because we were born into a sinful world. <clears throat> Forgiveness is another teaching I'm going to do for people to forgive someone isn't for the forgiveness of that person. It's for forgiveness of yourself. Judge not accordingly, or you should be judged how you judge people. Stop looking at the world and complaining about it. Start praying about it. Complain about it. Pray about it. Devil does everything in mockery of God. God wants us to pray. He wants us to complain. Kind of rhymes, don't it? I mean, when you start to know the devil, people don't want to hear about the devil. People don't want to hear about hell. People, alcoholics don't want to hear they're an alcoholic. A drug addiction person don't want to hear they're doing that. Oh, I love my family member. Then do something. Pray for these people. Pray until God works. You know, we can't come against them because they stole from us or that. You know, I've had so many family members steal from me. I've had people not only, and, and you say, wow, physical stuff? No. They stole a part of me by speaking wrong, hateful things about me, you know, but here's the thing, you know, the Lord told me uh, a couple of weeks ago, cause I was, I was really in pain and I was praying real hard about um, family and, and, and things like that. And he told me, he says, well, I told you the devil is going to have to start showing his people. They're going to have to start showing who they truly serve. One by one by one by one, they've showed it. You know, I don't care what they say about me, what they post about me, what they say about me. You know, I've proved so many things wrong that they have done before. But it's okay. You know, it's easy to grab a hold of someone else because you don't want to hear the truth. But I tell you what, when they needed a car fix or when they needed money or they needed uh, uh, someone to come rescue them, I was the person they called. Well, part of that's my fault too, but it's my fault and not my fault because today I serve God and I let God serve it out. You know, I pray before I do anything. Honestly, I pray before I go anywhere and I don't plan to go anywhere until God gives it to me. You know, and I've always been like that. I grew up like that. You know, when you grow up on the streets and you grow up hard, you don't have time for people's nonsense. You know, you weed through people real quick. And, um, but the crazy thing is, I don't miss these people. You know, I, I don't miss anybody that's come in and out of my life. I never have. Because if you're truly who you say you are, I'm not going to have to w look over my shoulder and see if you're still going to be there at the end. And I, I believe a lot of you have people like that in your life. You know, they treat you like crap all the way through life. But then when you're doing and you're and their hands are out and you're receiving something and they're coming right at you like, wow, you know. Or if you have to ask this, if you have to ask, hey, are, are you around them right now? Are you talking to them right now? Oh, no, I'm over here. And they're in a whisper. What does that tell you? How were they treating you three or four days ago? And now all of a sudden they're treating you nice. Why? What's in it? What's wrong? What's changed? Nothing. They want something. And I'm sorry to tell you that, but that's how the devil works. You know, 
food prices. Well, you know what? Some people call them the Amish. Some people call them the Amish. They're going to be the ones that, that are going to be out there surviving because they live a life totally different than ours that we make fun of. Who are we to make fun of anybody? The way we dress. Well, what about the way you dress? Stop being so judgmental. You know, start, start loving people. Start praying for people. You know, I, I've had so many people come against me by the way I look, you know, without even asking what happened to you. I've had little kids come up to me. Sir, what happened to you? And adults, just wicked. You know, it's okay. God made me who I am. God made me what he wanted me to look like today. You know, there was times I was angry about it. Today, I just say, it's what it is. You may think I'm ugly. You may you may think I'm handsome. You may think I, uh, that I'm the beast uh, from Beauty and the Beast. I've been told, called that um, an ogre. Uh, the best one was Freddy Krueger. I've heard that so many times. I mean, it doesn't even shock me anymore. Um, man, I could go down the list. <clears throat> You know, but I too was that way. I, I didn't, I didn't break people down, you know, but, but I would comment on someone's clothing or something, especially today. I really comment on it because nobody wants to see your, your, your behind peeking out through, uh, um, your shorts and stuff. And my thing is if you got to wrap so many belts and stuff around your shorts and to just to hold them in place so you can look a certain way, why, you know? All this hate war, you know, there, I, I heard a video the other day where, the, where this lady was going off. She was a younger uh, black African, uh, I'm sorry, American African. You know, we got to put all these things in, in, in order how people want it. But let me tell you, people, slavery was way before the African-Americans. And if you really do your history check, you're what you call my people. Don't forget Moses said the same thing. God said, go get your people from Egypt. They were burning them, dipping them in oil and burning them. Yes, I'm not saying getting hung from a tree is right. I'm not saying all these things that happen. But history is history. We're supposed to learn from it, not come in hate. The lady says this. Our ancestors, my grandma and whoever is alive, great grandma all the way down. I forget exactly how she said it. But we all talk about these things. We're upset about these things. Why? Why? It's destroying you. That's what it's doing. Because you see skin color. Well, I had a Christian African, American African lady tell me, I don't know why you white people even pray. Because Jesus isn't white and you're not going to heaven. Really? So Jesus don't speak to white people and we're not going to heaven, but you are. Great. That makes a lot of sense. I'm glad you cleared that up for me. And I'm glad you cleared that up for the for the whole world, whoever sees that video. But it's hate wars. But yet, if you look at the, the area, there's not too many white gang members that are shooting white gang members. It's not, you know, there is all kinds of hate crime. There's all kinds of people robbing stuff, white people included. It's ignorance, people. That's how they were grew. They grew up on the streets. They grew up with parents not caring. People are allow, you know, people today are allowing their their parents to grow, raise their children, and then use them for pawns later on in life. God's, you can't get over on God ever. You know, when you use people, all you show is this in life: how you use someone. When you're, when you're, when they can't do any more for you, and you take stuff away, all of a sudden, you're the bad person. Instead of other people coming and asking, hey, what happened? Well, let's call the person and get them over here. See, I'm not about gossip. I'm not about ripping someone down. I'm going to bring them face to face. Let's all sit in the room. It never happens. I brought this up many times with my children. Let's all of us get in the room. Let me really hear what you say. What really gets me is uh, the ones that I help raise uh, call me dad when, when they're by themselves. I never asked anybody to call me dad. I don't even ask my own children to call me dad. I'd rather you not because you don't treat me like I'm a dad. You treat me like I'm just some some piece of garbage that walks the earth, which you have no idea. But you grew up watching the stuff that happened. But I was always there, and you still treat me like garbage. But today, all I can do is pray for you. And I really don't care if you're in my life anymore. And, and that's the truth. And I'm at peace with that. And I'm at peace with it with God.
because it's hurt. It's hateful. It's despitefulness. Then that's the stuff the devil brings. And I don't want it because it brings a, a, a person in me out that is a beast that I have let God take out of me. And when you can live a life not having to post all this garbage on Instagram and wondering, well, I'd rather be dead. Well, be careful because the devil will take you. He's willing to have you. Because some man or some woman, you know, or then you're posting all this garbage and wearing clothing but claim to be a Christian. You better watch what devil and what God you serve because the devil's a God here on earth. And if you think he's not, listen to this one. Prove me wrong then, I say. But I'm going to tell you something before you even try to think about it. When Jesus was baptized with the Holy Spirit and he went out into the wilderness and he was tempted over 40 days. At the very end, Jesus took him to the Jesus was taken to the highest place and said, Look around you. See everything you see, I shall give to you, for I have the power to do this. Jesus never spoke against it. Never spoke against it. Why? Because the devil does have the power to do whatever he wants here. The devil's going to reign this. What do you think's happening right now, people? They have to break the one the currency and everything here to do one world order. If you think this is going to get any better, you're mistaking. This is God's awakening. But we're not listening to it. We're not willing to take that because you want to live a, a, a flesh life. Let me tell you, hell is horrible. Wait till I get into that category. I guarantee you, Daniel, but you're probably too many people watching that at all. But it's okay. Well, anyways... I just wanted to do a quick thing here to see how this thing's working. And um, I'll, I'll be back on today um, to really dig into, into some more words. I, and I'm hoping this is going to help some people. I really do. I hope this is going to open that that demonic life up. And uh, I, I, I know Satan's not going to rest easy because when you serve him that well and, you, and now you're coming against him, I know he's going to attack me. He's already have. You know, he, he used the last thing he possibly could use, and that was love. But let me tell you what, Jesus Christ loves me more, and I and I know through that I'll be okay, no matter what he takes out of my life. Read the book of Job, honestly. And, and even if you don't read the Bible and you don't believe in God, and even if you believe in the scientific stuff or whatever, read the book of Job. Look at what happened. When it says in there, what took you so long to get here? God's God talking to Satan. Well, I was walking to and fro and up and down, meaning he's going to heaven and coming back because he's got to ask for, for permission for everything he's doing. Right now, he's just got the right people in place, and it's all happening just the way God wanted it to. Because the, anything that happens on this earth, remember, God's still in control. But, hey, got to get going. Um, peace be with you. God bless you. I love you as I love the world, the people of the world. Not the world. I, I don't hold of anything on this on this earth that's going to rust. Moss can eat it, or it can be destroyed, or, or it can be stolen. But what cannot be stolen is my salvation. And that, people, is the greatest gift in the world that I can ever give you. And I hope that this reaches out to people and you start to see a different light. Start to, you know, God, God chose people like me because I've been out there in the world and I'm not one of these persons that was spoon fed that's going to come there and, and like uh, certain pastors and uh, TV evangelists that uh, tell you prosper, prosper, prosper. Well, you can't prosper if you're giving them all your money. Let me tell you that much. And their books are ridiculous. But just remember when you're forking all that money out and you read these books and you do what they're saying and you're going nowhere, but you're seeing them buy new jets and big expensive homes. Well, you have nobody to blame but yourself. Don't blame God. But anyways, love you. Uh, talk soon, and we'll dig into some more.